what is self-improvement? Self-improvement is when you're so ridiculously productive in the day, it often becomes difficult to comprehend how productive you actually were. For example, you're feeling especially motivated in a certain certain time period. And then you get like 10 things done that you would have like never got done in that moment. And you, you know, 10 projects that you always procrastinate on. You got it done in an hour, two hours. And then you reflect on those two hours for a moment. You're like, holy shit, I just did that. And then you do it again. One hour, two hours, 10, 20, 30 projects completed. Things that you would have procrastinated on forever, you do it. But you still have conviction, you still have like the desire to work and you're reflecting in your journal and you're meditating on it to regain your energy. Another hour, another 10 projects, another 10 things that you're going to do. Another hour. Five projects, seven projects. You're slowing down, you're tired. But that's the whole point. And then you go work out and then you go meditate and then you're done for today. And then you reflect back on the day and it's already night time, 8, 9 p.m. And you realize to yourself, holy shit, I just got a fuck ton of work done. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> like, that, that's so improvement, bro. And yeah, it could be potentially workaholicism, but before that, it's, it's, it's improving yourself. So stupid to say it's being satisfied satisfied with yourself, satisfied with your own progress. It's the biggest part of self-improvement. It's the biggest part of it all. How how can you be on self-improvement when you're not satisfied with yourself? When you look at yourself yesterday and you're like, holy shit, that guy's a fucking geek. Look at me now. Fucking built bicep in the mirror or some shit. I'm, I have no bicep mass at the moment. <laughs> You're not some improvement if you're not happy with your progress or not happy with your progression. You know, self improvement. Now I'm actually gonna rephrase that because you could potentially be very unhappy with your progress, but still not self improvement, and that negativity th- th- drives you and you thrive on it. But at some point, you're gonna have to be like, yeah, yeah, I've gone, I've gone pretty far. You're gonna look back on yourself and be like, yeah, I've gone pretty far. And you're, gonna, you're gonna be proud of that, you know? There becomes like a thin line where the shit goes from that to workaholicism. Workaholicism, as I'm, as I'm gonna call it now. Um, honestly, I think it is kind of, to be perfectly honest. But, and it can be negative, like completely and utterly, but. If it's towards the right thing and you're seeing tangible results from it and your life's going infinitely better from it, then what's a big deal? You're making a lot of money, you're getting into better shape, you're talking to more girls, you know, what's the big deal? Like, you go from, like, fucking virgin, loser, broke, ugly, to, like, handsome, tall, you know, rich, getting a lot of girls, that type of individual. You change that drastically, it's very difficult not to... Well, let's keep going. Why don't you keep going? How can you not stop? How can you stop? You shouldn't. You can't. Why? This is regression, bro. <laughs> You're not a fucking manual protagonist. I, I regressed to a world with 17 different heroes that are trying to kill me. <laughs> my, my fucking hand still hurts from boxing. I have injury. Ow. <laughs> That's what I think self-improvement is. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.